you wanted to drill a 3 16 inch hole, but you accidentally drilled a 3 8 inch hole. The part is too valuable to scrap. What do you do? How do you make the hole smaller? In my case, I'm using a half inch steel piece of scrap for my bin, but this is the kind of thing you would do if the part was too valuable to just scrap and replace. You would over drill to 1 64th under the size of a reamer. Now, if you're not familiar with a reamer, it's basically like a drill bit that's not designed to hog out materials. You get most of the drilling done with a drill bit, and then you come in with the reamer to just clean up the circumference until you get the diameter just where you want it. So once you have the precisely sized hole, then you take some shaft stock or some dowel stock, or maybe you turn down some round stock to a precisely sized plug, and you can pound in the plug. If it's a good press, then you can center punch it and drill right into it without the plug coming out. The plug and the plate will basically be one piece of material with a good press. Now in all of this, tolerance is very important. In my case, I selected a reamer that was 0.4980 to 0.4982 inches. And my plug, I chose 0.499 to 0.500 inches. I chose those sizes so that no matter what, I'll always have a good press fit. Even if I have the smallest plug possible in the biggest hole possible based on their allowable tolerances, I'll still have 0.0008 or 8 ten thousandths of an inch press. And if I have the biggest plug possible and the smallest hole possible based on their allowable tolerances, I'll still have a reasonable press at 0.002 or 2 thou inches. Now in terms of ANSI standard, we would call this a force fit or a locational interference fit. And there are dozens of standards out there that are really helpful for tool and die makers or folks doing high precision applications. For most, garage projects or small farm projects, a lot of industrial projects, this is a good rule that you can keep in your back pocket for steel on steel for most common hole sizes, whether they're 3 8 inch or 3 quarter inch or an inch or half an inch. And that's this. One thou interference is a good press. And one thou clearance nominally is a good slip.